over at Kobayashi Park. Haven't been here in a while. I'm really glad to be again here on Vimeo. Um, I was letting YouTube destroy me. And not through the methods that one would normally think. I was sort of letting the cult of personality sort of thing get to me. My, I was letting my YouTube persona define me. I lost friendship with two real-life friends because of who I had become because of YouTube. That's no good. That's no good at all. It makes me think about how there are a number of stars out there who have changed once they became popular. You know, what happened to them? I used to just sort of wonder how people would let that happen. But now I get it. I think now about how... I mean, I still want to try to do something with my music, but if I would have become really popular music-wise, before having these kinds of realizations, what would I have become? I can relate now with some of the sentiments that uh, Kurt Cobain had shoved forth after Nirvana had become so popular. 
It's like he kind of lost himself. It's like I feel I've... I had lost myself with the whole YouTube thing, and I didn't even become that popular. But I've got close to 2,700 subscribers on YouTube. That's not really that much, but I was already feeling this sort of thing. I was already letting it get to me. You know, I'd always thought that it was money that makes people change the most significantly that way, but it really can be other things. So, anyway. YouTube is a toxic environment, really. It's a place where you go where it's, it's like the video sharing site equivalent of 4chan or 8chan or something. People are as nasty to each other as they possibly can be. And I let myself get involved in that. At least I see it now. Anyway, thanks for watching.